Hello and welcome back to the series of VMware 101. My name is Raheem Sheikh and today I will be talking about what is Storage vMotion. Storage vMotion is, is, is the concept which came into the IT world with the VMware technology or VMware virtualization. Uh, in my previous video I talked about what is vMotion and uh, vMotion means migrating virtual machine from one ESXi host to another ESXi host. Uh, in this video, we will be talking about the storage vMotion. That means uh, you will be migrating virtual machine from one data store to another data store or one storage to another storage, whether it's a local to NAS or NAS to SAN or SAN to local, anything. Whenever you migrate virtual machine from one storage, whether it's a one data store or one NFS volume, you migrate to another data store, that process is called a storage vMotion. There are two types of storage vMotion. One is hot storage vMotion and another one is a cold storage vMotion. Uh, it's, it's basically the same but uh, when you do hot storage vMotion that time your virtual machine will be on and when you do the cold storage vMotion that time virtual machine will be in powered off state. Uh, you can also copy and paste your virtual machine files and I'll show you that in, in detail. So let's get started. Let's assume this is our ESXi host or consider we have stack let's say one two three there are many ESXi host in our setup and we have a storage I'm just configuring this storage as a NFS NFS is network file storage everyone should know about this we have one more storage uh, let's say this NFS is coming from NetApp and uh, this is the EMC storage and on this NFS you must be sharing multiple volumes to the ESXi and ESXi are accessing those volumes and uh, on that volumes your virtual machine actual VMs are residing whether one to one or one to many depending upon how you set up your environment. <coughs> For example uh, I have three storage this is my 3 TV NFS storage <coughs> excuse me I have three storage I'm oh sorry three data stores presented to these three ESXi host that means all the ESXi host can see these three devices and I have some virtual machines running on this let's assume my virtual machine uh, is, is require additional storage or I need to increase the C drive, D drive capacity of the virtual machines and I don't have a capacity on this data store where this VM is residing and I don't, have, I don't want to have a downtime for this virtual machine uh, to be shut down. So what I can do, I can use a storage vMotion option to migrate this virtual machine from this data store to this data store. And what we need to do, we need to select the virtual machine, right click on it, select the migrate option. The wizard will open and in that wizard, you have multiple options, whether you wanted to migrate VM from host to host or you want to migrate VM from data store to another data store. That time, you can use storage vMotion. You select the second option for migrating virtual machine storage from one data store to another data store. It will ask you to select the, select the target data store, then you specify the data store name and click on next, storage vMotion progress will start up. What it will do, it will copy those VMDKs, which are the virtual machine disk files and the configuration files from this data store to another data store. And uh, once these files are copied to another data store, it will, it will just log those VMX through the new data store and virtual machine will be keep running from the uh, from the data store. Whatever IOPS, sometimes if there are high IOPS that kept in, in, in queue and uh, your, your virtual machine will not see any, any breakdown or any, any kind of a network disconnection. Uh, this happened, storage, this, this, this is what we talk about storage vMotion onto one storage. You can do the storage vMotion to another storage. The need is this same storage should be visible from the ESXi. Let's assume our virtual machine which we are doing migration was running on ESXi 1 and if I want to have the migrated 
from NFS to EMC, just wanted to make sure this ESXi has access to both the storage because EX, this, this ESXi will be doing the storage vMotion work or the copy job. So whenever ESXi, whenever you do storage vMotion for this virtual machine from NFS to EMC, just giving an example, one storage or another storage, make sure both the storage are visible to, to the ESXi host, then only your storage vMotion will work. Uh, so this happened about the uh, cold storage vMotion, oh sorry, not the cold, but, but the uh, hot storage vMotion, that means uh, you are migrating virtual machine which is in power down state from one storage to another storage. Uh, there is one more requirement when we when people do the storage vMotion in for all the virtual machines and uh, when whenever you try to upgrade your, your storage environment. In the same example your earlier storage was NFS and then you we are migrating from NFS to fiber channel on EMC from large storage with high IOPS and extra capacity. That time people or, or administrators decide to use a storage vMotion so that there will be minimal downtime or no downtime for, for this migration. And how this happens, you already have the connectivity with your existing storage, you make the additional connectivity with the new storage that will be intact as it is uh, going forward and then uh, you, you use the storage vMotion uh, storage vMotion to migrate all the virtual machine load from old storage to new storage. <laughs> There's one more way uh, people use it or, or people used to use it at the back end or a uh, very important point here, this all, this all op operations has to be done by a management which is called vCenter and this cannot be possible without a vCenter. I'm sorry I forgot to tell you, the first requirement to do the storage vMotion, we need to have a vCenter and the one ESXi host at least. Okay, and only then you can use the storage vMotion. And uh, if you want to do store vMotion, of course you need multiple ESXi host. Uh, first vCenter. So whenever you want to do the storage vMotion, you need to have a vCenter. You need to have the shared storage if you wanted to do a power on virtual machine. If you if you have a local storage, let's assume all the ESXi host will be having its own local storage, right? And there 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 are some some organization they might be using a local storage and they don't have any uh, they don't have any any uh, centralized storage or shared storage whether it's NFS or EMC that time if you have if you want to migrate virtual machine from one ESXi host and another to the another ESXi host you need to shut down this virtual machine and that's called cold SV motion in that case you need to shut down the virtual machine then select the migration wizard you will not only migrate the storage but you will also migrate the virtual machine from one ESXi host to another ESXi host and then only, it, then only your, your vMotion or storage vMotion will work in that time. Uh, this was about the storage vMotion whether it's a hot storage vMotion or a cold storage vMotion. We have one more steps whether administrator used to do this task. Uh, they, um, in the past I've also used that for troubleshooting purpose. What you can do, the virtual machine files are, are basically stored in the storage or the data store, whether it's NFS or, or the SAN. On the data stores, there is a folder for every VM with the VM name, virtual machine name. And in that folder, you will find the file .vmx, which is the virtual machine file .vmdk, which is virtual machine disk. You will find the files called nvram. You will find the file called snapshots, which are related to snaps. You will find some logs, so and so forth. There are many files which are part of the virtual machines components. They are virtual components of your virtual machines and they, they, they get saved as a, as a file which ESXi use as a configuration options. What you can do if you only to migrate one virtual machine and uh, you don't have any licenses or you don't have a vCenter and you just have two ESXi. Um, so I'll, I'll show you two ways. One, if you are using shared storage, you can just unmount unregistered over VMX from one ESXi host and register it on another ESXi host. That is one process or if you want to actually copy the files from one storage to another storage you basically do the uh, open the browse storage options in the ESXi and uh, you need to select that file copy and you can you can uh, go to the another storage and uh, you can uh, go to the 
data store, which is here, and, and uh, you can paste those files there, and that will also do the storage of emotion. But after doing that, you need to add those VMs into the inventory. So we do this most of the time doing the clone or, or uh, do, doing the troubleshooting, and if we need a couple of VM decays to be copied from one disk to another disk. Uh, this most the last task which I've told you that was comes in most of the time in the advanced troubleshooting you will not be using and nobody will ask you anything about this in any certification questions or the probably few people may ask you in the interview but uh, this is something which you know advanced level troubleshooting comes into the picture uh, if you understand the storage vMotion which is hot storage vMotion and cold storage vMotion I think that will be enough for this uh, training purpose and uh, this is what I want you to understand. I will be uh, having a separate practical session on this and I will be sharing that video very soon. I would like to thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, put that in the comment box. And if you have not subscribed my channel already, please click on subscription button. And thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.